Hi there, and welcome to my channel. Today we are making a pumpkin lentil soup. We are full swing of calving on the farm right now, and it is still pretty cold outside, so soups are still on the menu. In an effort to use up some of my garden produce, I have brought up one of my last sugar baby pumpkins. I use about two cups of that cubed, frozen tomatoes and fresh kale, one liter of chicken broth for this recipe. I ended up using my own frozen, half a cup of lentils, two cloves of garlic, half that onion, salt, pepper, and a large tablespoon of oregano. At the store, you can buy fresh pumpkin that is cubed and any orange pumpkin will do. And then you can skip that step entirely. Wow, Annette, talk about letting out some aggression. Actually, for that, you can use mallet or the flat side of your knife. I just like slapping it. Once everything is chopped and ready for the pot, I pour some oil in the pot and preheated it. Now, one of the things that I've been working on lately is adding enough oil to my pot. For some reason, I always thought the food would be healthier if it didn't have so much oil in it. And that's probably true, but the food is harder to make, I've found. My onions and garlic have been sticking to the bottom, so I would recommend using just a little bit more oil so that doesn't happen. So the, the oregano, garlic, and onions are in the pot and I added the pumpkin to it once the onions were sautéed and translucent. To this I added my frozen tomatoes. If you've seen my videos before, you know that it doesn't take long for the tomatoes to soften and release their juices. This is where I add my frozen broth. At this point, if you've bought store bro broth to use, go ahead. It only takes about five to 10 minutes for this frozen broth to defrost, so I'm never afraid to use it because it doesn't really increase my cooking time by that much. So I just put the lid on and once everything has been defrosted and the tomatoes are starting to release their juices, I increase the temperature on the pot to just a slight simmer and I added my lentils. I added about four tablespoons of lentils to this, which is less than I had got out in preparation and rinsed. I like the ingredients in my soups to be a little bit balanced and not too much of any one thing. The last ingredients to this I am adding is the salt, pepper, and the kale. Mostly the kale is just for pure looks because the orange pumpkin, the green kale, and the red tomatoes, I think looks quite beautiful. In about 20 minutes, my lentils are cooked as well as my pumpkin. This is time where you wanna taste test and see if there's anything to add. I filled the bowl as it was just the perfect timing to be done chores and come in for a cup of soup. I hope you enjoy and we'll see you in the next one for a dish of pork chops and mushroom gravy.